What's going on YouTuber? This is your boy G coming back to you from the 432 and in this video I'm going to be sharing my overall thoughts and opinions to the new design for both Goten and Trunks for this new Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie because they both appear to be the teenagers that we fans first saw during the final three episodes of Dragon Ball Z which were Granddaughter Pan, Boo's reincarnation and Goku's next journey. But it's obvious that they've been redesigned from their original look that many people seem to be upset about but not me because we were told in the previous trailer that this movie will be an original story, screenplay, and character designed by the original creator Akira Toriyama. So I feel like it's the perfect time for me to finally speak out about these beloved characters and their new design because the older that these two get, the closer that we get to the 28th World Martial Arts Tournament, where we met Oob, the reincarnation of the evil Majin Buu that also took place during the last three episodes of Dragon Ball Z, my friends. So really quick, if you haven't seen the franchise, go ahead and stop or keep watching because there will be spoilers in this information. Alright folks, I'd first like to start off with Trunks, the oldest out of the two. He's said to be 18 years old in this movie, and I really love how Akira Toriyama corrected the anime by bringing Trunks' blue hair back, because, for those who don't know, in the manga his hair was blue just like Bulma's, but in the anime they messed up by accidentally coloring his hair purple. So that's why he appears to have purple hair in the anime and blue hair in the manga. But now his blue hair has become canon. So props to Akira Toriyama for correcting that for us Trunks fans. And I'm really digging the vest that he's rocking right now. I've seen a couple memes of him looking like Marty McFly, which is pretty cool in my book because I'm a Back to the Future fan as well. I think he's even wearing one when we first saw him in Granddaughter Pan. But either way, it still looks pretty cool on him. Props once again. And as for Goten, he is said to be 17 in this movie and what I really like about Goten is that he looks pretty much the same from his original design, only his hair just doesn't look as messy. But other than that, I really love this design and I will always see the young Goten and Trunks doing this exact same pose. Really love how they still have their kid faces. but. Now let's talk about the fusion technique that they obviously messed up. These two have struggled with the fusion technique ever since they learned it in the Buu Saga, so I wouldn't doubt it that they would struggle now because I don't even think we've seen Gotenks since the Universe 6, Universe 7 arc, so I wouldn't blame these guys for not getting it right the first time. And I'm really curious to see how much the relationship has progressed because in episode Boo's reincarnation, when they're already at the tournament waiting to draw numbers to see who's gonna fight who, we see Goten and trunks performing what looks like their own fusion technique but that's just me talking i'm not saying that's the fusion technique but i really loved hearing their voices combine at this moment <laughs> hey, hey good, good to see you dude. dude giving off hints of team go tanks which brings me to my next point and i'm probably going to close with this one but What's crazy about Dragon Ball Super Superhero is that this movie takes place roughly six months to a year before the ending of the Z storyline, aka the final three episodes of the Z storyline that I've been talking to you about throughout this video. Granddaughter Pan, Boo's reincarnation, and Goku's next journey. But the crazy part about it is that those three episodes came out in 1997. So, Fans around the world already saw this version of Team Goten and Team Trunks nearly two decades ago and now they have returned but have been completely retcon, which is completely fine because it's Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Super has its own format, its own feeling, its own vibe and we can't change that because now Dragon Ball Z is obviously in the past and it's not coming back, especially Bruce Falconer sadly, but that's just the way it is and I'm completely happy with it as long as Akira Toriyama keeps heading in this direction because if Goten and Trunks grew up, Pan grew up, then that means Oob grew up. And folks, I strongly believe we will be meeting him once again, only this time he will have a different design, the same way Goten and Trunks did, to fit the Dragon Ball Super world. It only makes sense. But overall, if they do head in this direction six months to a year later and meet Oob at the 28th World Martial Arts Tournament, I'm very curious to see how Goku found out he signed up for the tournament in the first place, how powerful Goten and Trunks slash Gotenks will be after we watch them in this movie, and what their roles will be along with Pan and Oob in the future of Dragon Ball. Because I've said this before and I'll say it again, get 
ready, folks. A lot is going to happen once this movie is released in 2022. We will be getting an Oob Saga so we can finally see what Goku's journey really meant all those years ago. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. If you guys have any theories, suggestions, or thoughts, drop them as well. I would really love to hear about them. And I'd like to give a big shout out to my boy Nick Dorsey for spreading the Lopez Rewind love to his friends and family in California all the way to his homies in Memphis, Tennessee. So big shout out to you, big homie. I really appreciate the love that you show to this channel. It really means a lot, my friends. So big round of applause to my man Nick Dorsey, everybody. Big round of applause. And for everybody else watching, I really appreciate you guys tuning into the Lopez Rewind. It really means a lot. And don't forget to check out our other platforms, TikTok and Instagram, that will be linked in the description down below. But for the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to this channel, you can hit like, share, and subscribe to stay tuned for the next video. Until then, peace, love, and hair grease, my friends. This is your boy, G. I'm out.